popular demand and request to finish our story of little boy Timmy and little boy Timmy's mommy and little boy Timmy's daddy and the little old home on the corner. Well, yes, we experience flickering lights. We experience creaking sounds. We experience cold spots, but I have something next that little Timmy experienced that she can't say anything about. Okay, so we had just thrown the blanket over little Timmy's head and he holds it so tight. And as he's laying there with his eyes squeezed tight shut with the blankets over his head, he hears a inside the room and he feels like there's just somebody in there watching him and he didn't hear the door open and he didn't hear the window open yet the hairs on the back of his neck start standing up and the fear starts taking over because he feels like somebody's right there next to him i'm sorry i'm sorry but i do have an explanation that could be causing that feeling or that sensation or the the feeling of fear or somebody being in the room when they're not really there. Okay, so there's a thing called, there's, there's three possibilities maybe, plus more. Um, there's such thing called a fear frequency. So if it's a noise that's being played below 20 hertz, which is the, the loudest a human ear can hear, whether in the home, around the home, I mean, we already established it might be older windows, so it could be right outside somewhere in the neighborhood. That is called a fear frequency and has been known to cause, even though we as humans can't hear it, cause the feeling of fear and dread. That's just one possibility. Another possibility is if you've ever heard of electromagnetic fields. So you'll see them a lot in ghost hunting shows, for example, because that's how they hunt for ghosts. However, they'll take the same device that they use to hunt for ghosts and check the electrical equipment in the home, around the home, check the electrical wires. Because if there's anything leaking electricity or an electro magnetic energy that can create what is also known as a feeling of dread or paranoia if there's anything leaking sometimes you'll see it around a microwave or old electrical um, I mean we already established it's already an old home so check the electrical <laughs> now there's another possibility carbon monoxide poisoning so if there was a home inspection done then the home inspector would have found that there was possibly not a carbon monoxide detector of the home. So that could either be from the, the gas stove in the kitchen, or it could be from little Timmy's daddy running his equipment that might be gas operated in the garage or his car in the garage without opening the door. And it could seep in or leak into the home, causing the possibility of carbon monoxide poisoning. And guess what? That can cause hallucinations and illness and if not caught soon enough, even worse. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have carbon monoxide detectors installed in your home in all the appropriate places. If you don't, call your local realtor or your trusted realtor or call us. So that way we can help show you where they should be because we want your family to be safe. And we want you to have a wonderful home to live in that you love. <laughs> okay, well thank you. I very much appreciate you helping me with my scary story. And apparently, little boy Timmy is doing just fine. And little boy Timmy's mommy and daddy maybe didn't have a realtor that helped them get the proper inspections on the home. Well, let's finish and see where little boy Timmy and little boy Timmy's mommy and little boy Timmy's daddy does because we still don't know what happened with old man Barley. Little boy Timmy with the blanket pulled tight over his head and his eyes closed super tight. And yes, he still has that fear inside of him and the goosebumps on his arms and up the back of his necks. And then all of a sudden he hears the doorknob on his bedroom door twist. And then he hears the door itself open. And then he hears And he shivers and starts shaking and starts shaking. And then all of a sudden he feels a on his shoulder and he jumps. And it's little boy Timmy's mommy saying, 
dear, we're going to bed. I love you, have sweet dreams, and we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Little boy Timmy was getting tucked in by little boy Timmy's mommy. And with that, little boy Timmy sighed a sigh of relief and got cozy up into his bed and fell fast asleep. And when little boy Timmy woke up the next morning, as he comes into the kitchen, he hears little boy Timmy's mommy and little boy Timmy's daddy actually talking about old man Barley, who it turns out didn't pass away, only moved into another home nearby. So little boy Timmy, little boy Timmy's mommy and little boy Timmy's daddy lived happily ever after in their little old house on the corner. So if you're thinking about buying or selling a home, make sure you give us a call so we can keep you protected and do your due diligence on your home to make sure there's no flickering lights, creaking boards, creepy feelings. In the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have a new video coming out for you every Friday.